says, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Does man and is man and man abuse? Hell yeah, it's abuse. You running your rod up into the behind of another man. That is abuse and unnatural according to God. Read. Do you believe that the that's the kingdom of heaven is for the 12 tribes of Israel, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians? You said there's confusion there. Yeah, there's confusion. So the brother just read that Paul's letters, they are hard to be understood, right? So the, give me that in Revelation chapter 21, the kingdom of heaven. I'm going to show you one scripture that's easy to be understood, all right? Listen to this. This is talking about the kingdom of heaven. Read. Revelation chapter 21, verse 10. We need to find out if other nations are in this. All right, read. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, the city out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high. So now this is describing the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven has a wall, great and high. Come on. It had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. One big white pearly gate. 12 gates. 12 gates. Let's see what these 12 gates are for. Come on. And at the gates, 12 angels. There are 12 angels at these 12 gates. Why do you think them angels there? I guess to regulate the gate. To regulate That's the gate. Right. To, pre to prevent entrance or to restrict entrance and exit of who is calling going in and out of this gate. They like the, they the bouncers, big, tall, black bouncers. Read. And names written thereon. There are names written on these gates, come on. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the names that's on, that are on the gates belong to the names of the people that are of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Within the gates, or on those gates are these names. You have these names here, which are the names that we acquired in America. And then you have these names that God called us. All right? God called us Judah on down. So the names that are on the gates are who? Read it again. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. How y'all doing? Give me Matthew 15 and verse 24. Because the misconception is that Christ came for the world. Now that Christ has died, salvation is for everybody. Right. No, salvation is unto the repenting Israelite man and woman. That's right. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sick, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ, out of his own mouth, is saying that he was only sent. He only came to the earth for who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. He only came to the earth for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's now when you're looking at this sign, the only people on earth that are lost are you so-called black people. Right. The only people on earth that is lost is Hispanic people, right. Native American people. Right. Just those names alone prove that we are lost That's because right. God did not give us those names. That's God right. gave us the name Judah, That's Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, all the way down to the rest of the 12 tribes who have been scattered throughout all the earth due to the transatlantic and the sub-Saharan slave trade. Right. Now, here in America, we wake up, the chains are taken off of our necks. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. The chains come off our neck and we forget who put the chains on our neck. Right. Now we think we's free and we are friends. That is not it. You got a question? Yeah. I heard multiple times over there that y'all are not judging. No, we're not judging. Give me uh, give me that in Corinthians 6. You got me? But what I heard over there is one of our own came over here. He stood over here. He was actually listening to you. Yeah, I don't know. And then I'm, I I'm standing heard right there. from over there something about ice spice on the back of his shirt. He did. He got ice spice on his shirt. Right. What did you mean by that? That's his name? Right. Is that his name? No, it's not. Well, that's his dad's name. Right. Okay, well, that's what was on the back of his shirt. The brother made mention that we got brothers walking away from the true words of God. Okay? All right, we're going to see. We're going to see who knows God. Let's read this first. We, we ain't judging. Right. The Bible tells you exactly how this thing is going to go. We ain't judging. The Bible says there shall be no uh, Sodom, which is homosexual, of 
the children of Israel. That's what the Bible said. So, if, yeah, he said out of his mouth, I'm a homosexual. That's what he said out of his own mouth. Mr. Spice said that. So don't come saying that we judge you. I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. Read. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. These ain't our words. We come standing on the words of God. You can like it or dislike it. You don't like, you don't hate us. You hate God. Read. But he that is spiritual judges all things. The Bible says he that is spiritual judges all things. Come on. Yet he himself is judged of no man. Well, we're not going to be judged because we stand on the laws of God. Right. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. That's what I want. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. Right. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So this is what we're bringing out. If Ice Spice and anybody else with a nickname on the back of their shirt is living a lifestyle outside of the way that God has required us to live, this is what God says. Read. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Neither fornicator. Fornicator. So if you're in the midst of fornication. Neither adulterer. If you're in the midst of adultery. Nor adulterer. Nor adulterer. Nor effeminate. Nor effeminate is going into that sodomist homosexual spirit. No, this is going into that sodomy homosexual spirit. These are not our words. They're God's words. So if you hate what is coming out of the Bible, then take that up with God. Right. You will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Read. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. It says, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Does man and is man and man abuse? Hell yeah, it's abuse. You're running your rod up into the behind of another man. Right. That is abuse and unnatural according to God. Right. Read. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor jokers, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. See, we're telling you what your Christian pastor and your fathers like to tell you. Right. You will not inherit the kingdom of God if you are breaking God's commandments. Right. You young men and you old ass men need to change your ways. Right. You are in the midst of sin and you will be judged and put to death in the day that Christ returns. Least you repent. Right. Repentance is open to you. Right. We can't close the doors of repentance. That's not our job. But our jobs as the men of God, as righteous, boldly standing on Christ's foundation, men and prophets of the Most High, our job is to tell you repent. Right. Change your ways. You're a homosexual, then you need to change. Give me Matthew 4 and 17. See, what people fail to realize, brother, is that they think this is our thing. People see us come to the streets and, we, and correct them, rebuke them, and, and show them the sin that they're in. They think this is our thing. What they don't realize is we're doing the same thing that is written the four times that our forefathers did. Right. All of the prophets came warning Israel to change their ways, to keep God's commandments, and they did not hearken to the prophets. That's why this had to happen. That's why this had to happen to us. This is why we're in the condition we're in today. Because we did not want to listen to our forefathers when the prophets was telling us before. If you don't repent, God is going to judge you. You're going to go into slavery. Read that. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. We're just telling you and giving you the good news that Christ is telling you, you got time right now to repent. You got time right now to fall under the commandments of God and do according to God's commandments. That's what we're telling you. Read. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. This place that you call America in the scriptures known as Babylon the Great, oh, it's on the brink of destruction. Right. It is on the brink of destruction. Right. How do we know? We see war raising up all over the earth. We see all kind of pestilence being brought on the earth. We see the prophecies coming to pass. Just like God says, it will, be, it will be in the days of Noah, so shall it be in these times? We see it. Sodomy, sodomy and whoremonger has filled our land. Now we don't know. Give me the law again. I'll read the law one more time for him. We ain't said nothing that's outside of the Bible. Right. Read. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Come on. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind. So if I Spice said that he homosexuals, what do homosexuals do? Right. They lay with men. God said what? Thou shalt not lie with mankind. That's for I Spice. Read it again. 
Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Now, did I, did I, did I make that up? I did not make that up. My job is to tell you what the Bible says. You can hear or you can forbear. This is a learned behavior. It was picked up by our people. And just like I was bringing out, when we learn evil, we take evil to the next level. Anything that we do and we learn in this, in, in this captivity, we as the chosen people of God, we got a spirit on us. We take things to another level, bro. Right. It gets it get real crazy. Read that in Matthew again. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So this is why salvation is not for all people. Right. This is why salvation, everybody can't be saved because they're not from the nation. They're not from the nation that needs to be saved. Does the Jewish man that runs the diamond industry, does he need to be saved? What does he need to be saved from? If what, Why does he need to be saved? He don't need to be a no. to the Old Testament. No, he got everything. He runs everything. They dare show in, in poverty. Right. They're not on the bottom of society. Who's on the bottom of society? Do that in Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. These are, this is Christ. Read that. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Bring it up. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. No, blessed be the Lord God of everybody. The Lord God of Israel. So the Bible is only for Israel. It's only for Israel. It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he have visited and redeemed his people. Says he said, we done what? Visited and redeemed his people. So his people are the children of Israel. His people are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Right. So who did he come back to save, bro? 12 tribes. Okay, read on. And hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, come on. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, read. which have been since the world began, that we, that who? That we, that we the Israelites, should be saved. From our enemy. That we, you gotta look at the possessive words. That we should be saved from our enemies. Yes, Who are our enemies? The same people that did this to us. Right. That's the, that's the enemy. Right. So now, like I asked the brother earlier, if the Lord chose us, he's telling us that these are our enemies, why do we want equality? Why? Why do we want equality if God gave us the world? If salvation is for us, and the kingdom of heaven is for us. You want to share it with other people. But the problem is, our people want to share everything good with the nation of people that has put them in captivity. Right. Why is that? That's because we have yet learned that we are the true people of God. Right. We have yet learned that we are the Israelites. Right. That's why we're in the condition that we're in. When will we start to think, maybe maybe we should try something different. But I know what it is. But you know, here's the thing. We're so comfortable, we don't want to change. We're so comfortable with what the society has allowed us to be, what we have become over time, we don't want to change. We think thugging is the thing to do. Living outside of a, 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 a marriage and sleeping with multiple women, that's the thing to do. That's what we've been taught. But your judgment is going to come before you know it. Why? Because we got to change and keep our ways. Give me Psalms chapter 17, chapter 19. Psalms 19 and verse 7. Read that. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of the Lord are perfect. God says, get married. Don't sleep around with multiple women. Get married. That's a perfect thing. God says, don't steal from your neighbor. Don't kill your brother. Don't be a homosexual. That's a perfect thing. Read. Converting the soul. What does God's laws do? Converting the soul. So you can't say you know God and you are outside of keeping God's commandments. Give me 1 John 3 and 4. 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Read. 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law. So if you're in the midst of sin, you are breaking God's laws. Come on. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. Now give me that in 2 verse 3, I believe I want. Read. 1 
First John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. So hereby we do know if we know God. You can't say you know God if you are outside of this. Here is how you know if you know God. Read. If we keep his commandment. You know God if, if you keep his commandments. Come on. He that saith, I know him, and keep him not his commandments. So if you say you know God, and you ain't keeping his commandments, especially trying to raise money on the Sabbath day, what? read. Is a liar. God says you a damn liar. God says you are a damn liar. You are, you do not know God. You're out here breaking God's commandments in the midst of all kind of for fornication in the midst of all kind of sin you are breaking God's commandments read it again he that said I know him uh, and keep him not his commandments is a liar uh, and the truth is not in him God says you're a liar and the truth is not in you meaning that you think your father is God but actually your father is the devil give me that give me that you are of your father the devil God says, you think that I'm your father, but you're a actually, your father is the devil. And that's whose work you are doing, especially out here breaking the Sabbath day. Especially out here trying to defend a lifestyle that you know is contrary to the commandments of God. You got that? Read. John chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are, ye are of your father, the devil. What God said? Ye are of your father, the devil. So when you say you know God, but you don't follow one thing that he says, Christ says you are a liar. And you are what? Ye are of your father, the devil. Uh -huh. And the lust of your father ye will do. God says the lust of your father you're going to do. What is that lust? That lust is being very flamboyant within that homosexual spirit. It's damn 95 degrees out here, and y'all choose to dance on the side of the road trying to make money. When is the men of this generation going to stand up? When are the men of this generation going to get some balls and become men? How long are you going to stay simple-minded? How? Give me that in Proverbs. How long are you going to stay? Proverbs 1, 21. How long before you actually realize that you must change your ways? It's going to take mass destruction to take place on this earth before our people really wake up. Read that. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22. How long ye simple ones? What God called the black man? How long ye simple ones? What does God call uh, these black men and women walking outside of the order that they were given? How long ye simple ones? Will ye love simple? God says, how long are you going to love simplicity? How long are you going to be simple-minded? Read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. All that scorning that you're doing on the side of the road, that's cool. You can scorn all you want. The Lord is going to have the last laugh. Read. And fools. And what? And fools. What are, what are these people out here? And fools hate knowledge. Only a fool hates knowledge. We try to give the young man the sense of knowledge that will resurrect his spirit and cause him to be a man right. under the commandments of God. Yet his leader, which is also effeminized, comes over here trying to justify the young man saying, right. how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? Come on. And scorners delight in their scorning. And fools. And what? And fools Lord. hate knowledge. Read. Turn you at my reproof. God says you better turn at this reproof. Right. You better turn at this reproof right now. You wonder why y'all ain't made but 50 cent in the last thing on three hours? Because it's not of God. That's why. Right. You wonder why them, them cars ain't just stopping and dropping that money in there? Because what you're doing is ungodly. Right. That's why. You might got a goal to raise 2,000. You'll be lucky if you raise 20. Because you are breaking God's commandments. Right. Read. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. God is pouring his spirit out to you young men right now. You young men with that homosexual spirit, God is pouring his spirit out to you right now. Read. 
I will make known my words. God says he's making known his words. In the day of judgment, you will not have a say-so. This is your reproof right now. This is your correction right now. Read. Unto you, because I have called. God said what? I have called. You will not be able to say that you didn't hear the words of God. Right. You're hearing the words of God right now today on Broad River Road. Right. right. Read. And ye refused. What did they do? And ye refused. You turned your back on the words of God. Right. You turned your backs on the word of God, just like you did in the past. You are of your father, the devil. Come on. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. Come on. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. You have set at the not at not the counsel of God. See this look, this little sanctuary on the corner right here. This is your hospital. This is your hospital. You want to be cured from that homosexual spirit? Guess what? The hospital is right here. You can right here up under this tent, and we can show you all the scriptures that you need to fix yourself. You wonder why they wanted down their window and giving you no money? Because you are of your father, the devil. You see how many of y'all are there? Y'all can't get five cents. You can't get 35 cents. Because you are of your father, the devil. You are doing the devil's work. Read. But you have set at night all my counsel and would none of my reproof. You don't want this reproof. You say, forget them niggas over there in purple. Okay. That's what you think? We just niggas in purple? You're going to find out in the day of judgment. Come on. I will also laugh at your calamity. What did God say? I will also laugh at your calamity. When your calamity befalls you, God says he's going to laugh at you. See, they laugh at us right now. Right now, we're mocked. Right now, they laugh at us because we some black men reading out of the Bible, telling you what your own damn mama couldn't tell you, what your own daddy, what your own grandmother, and all of your teachers in life could not tell you. But you know what? That brother that's standing over there, that, the, 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 the oldest one, the one that came over here, he got a big judgment on his hand because he's the, he's the bigger influence of those young men over there walking in that spirit that they're walking in. But they know God. God says you're a liar. Change your ways. Repent and come out of that homosexual, that sodomite spirit. That's what you got to change. And if you don't like the words of the Bible, you got to take that up with God. Ain't nothing we can do for you. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 